We interrupt this broadcast. This is not a test. Do not attempt to adjust your set. My name is H. Ron Washington. And I am Bobby Jefferson. And I am Angela Z. We are the Oakland, California chapter of the Tea Party Panthers. We are the descendants of the founders of the Black Panther movement. Who the hell are you calling a descendant? I was a Black Panther since the day before you were born. Look, we'd like to thank our fellow conservative brothers for starting us off, but we can take the wheel now because Oakland is just like the Boston of the Revolutionary Panther movement. We're Bunker Hill, baby. In this communique, we are going to speak to the providence of patriotism. You understand that word, Bobby? It's, look, it, what it is, it's like uh, the chain of custody. We understand that the great American Tea Party recognizes the spirit of the American Revolution and honors the patriots who stood beside George Washington. And that would be us, African-Americans. And how do you spell us, Brother Ron? U.S. That's how you spell us. Who stood beside Thomas Jefferson. That would be us. Who fought and died in the Revolutionary War. We shooed Paul Revere's damn horse. And let me ask you something. Who was the first patriot that was killed in the Boston Massacre? Crispus Attucks. Proud black patriot. I hate them damn redcoats. You tell them, Bobby. You're going to keep the redcoats out of Oakland. By any means necessary. By virtue of the dues that African American citizens have paid, we are claiming our blood soaked right to dip our own tea bag into the waters of the political process. We come from a line of great American patriots like Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass, hell, I'm talking about Kirk Douglass. I'm about to go all Spartacus on all those damn San Francisco liberals. The time has come for us to penetrate the ballot box with our hard, earned conservative values. It's time for the Tea Party to occupy the White House. This is our 10-point agenda. Thought it was our manifesto. This is our 10-point agenda. Number one, we demand a constitutional amendment to make the Bush tax cuts permanent. Because we all have the right to become multinational corporations. Number two, eliminate Obamacare. Uh -huh. If we wanted your help, we would just ask for it, Mr. All Up In Your Face President Barack Obama. And we don't want no Romney care either. We don't want no senior death squad roaming the streets under any plans. And number three, get that Canadian Keystone Pipeline moving ASAP and move offshore drilling to onshore so we don't all have to take a damn helicopter to work. Really? Yeah. Number four, deport all illegal, non-documented, or suspicious aliens in their funny accents within a 30-day timetable. But their food can stay. Yeah, but their music you gotta go. Whatever happened to the tired power anyway? That's what I wanna know. Number five, legalize unlimited firepower for all patriots. We call this the Self Safe Sleep Act. Sleeping. The Safe Sleeping Act. It could be hard for a brother to sleep knowing that the streets are full of terrorists. Islamofascists. What she said. Number six, military tribunal for all members of ACORN. Mm -hmm. And number seven and number eight, put prayers back in the school system. Take the damn sodomy out. And there's only one man that's capable of doing both. And that's Mr. Rick Santorum. Santorum. Rick Santorum. Cent oh, yeah, Torum, you know who I'm talking about. Number nine, create a national registry of union members and pass child protective laws. No union member can come closer than 500 feet to a school. Number 10, keep Medicare and Social Security out of the hands of the federal government. And open up that damn Social Security lockbox and pump out some of that damn cash into the stock market. We would also like to offer our services as a Tea Party Honor Guard at the Republican National Convention. We could offer protective services, sort of like the Hell's Angels did at Altamont. We want to serve and protect the corporations. Because corporations are people. And you know what? Not only are corporations people, I think that corporations are black people. And I'll tell you why. You know why? Because they work their ass off hard every single day and they don't get no damn respect. We are the Oakland chapter of the Tea Party Panthers. We the real deal, baby. 
You may now resume your normal broadcast. No, hey, wait, wait. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna mention my man uh, Grover real quick. Oh yeah. man, why are you talking? You should have never put him in the middle.